Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. 
In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head, but if not, Sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord then said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear, since you have now banished me from the soil, and I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him, If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son, whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You sit speaking against your brother. Against your mother's son, you spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is the familiar story of the brothers Cain and Abel. And even from childhood, we already know this story. It is a horrible story of a man killing his own brother. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the first sin ever recorded in the Bible is the sin of disobedience. It is the sin of the first human beings against God. Ang unang-unang kasalanang naitala sa Biblia ay kasalanan ng tao laban sa Diyos at yun ay ang kanyang pagsuway sa utos ng Diyos. But the very first sin ever recorded in the Bible committed by a man against his fellow man is the sin of murder. Pagpatay. Yan ang kauna-unahang kasalanang itinala sa Biblia na ginawa naman ng tao laban sa kanyang kapwa-tao. And it is not just a simple murder because it was a murder committed by a man against his own very brother. Ang pinatay niya ay sarili niyang kapatid. Ang unang-unang krimen na naitala sa Biblia ng tao laban sa tao ay ang pagpatay ng sariling kapatid. It is a story of jealousy that turned into hatred and the hatred led to murder. In our world gospel today, the Pharisees are asking Jesus for a sign. And they made the, this request not because they have faith in Jesus, not because they believe in Jesus, but because they want to get something from Jesus that they could use against him. By this time, Jesus is becoming popular because he teaches better than the scribes and the Pharisees, because he was doing miracles. And so we could sense jealousy in the hearts of the Pharisees. And this jealousy will eventually turn into hatred, and the hatred will eventually lead them to ask for the death of Jesus. Jesus, their own countryman, sariling kababayan, kalahi nila, pero dahil sa kanilang inggit at galit, ay ipinapatay din nila. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today are sad stories. And the truth is, 
the story of Cain and Abel and the story of the Pharisees against Jesus continue until our time today. Until now, we know of many stories, or it may be our own experience, of brothers and sisters, of families and relatives fighting each other, suing each other to court, or even resort to killing each other. Hanggang ngayon naman nangyayari ito. Marami pa rin magkakapatid, membro ng iisang pamilya, magkakamag-anak, ang hindi nagkakasundo, ang nagsisiraan, kinakasuhan pa ang isa't isa, away ng away, at minsan pa nga hahantong sa patayan. Magkakamag-anak, magkakapatid, pero pinapatay ang isa't isa. My dear brothers and sisters, is that, should that be our attitude toward each other, especially with our own brothers, sisters, and relatives? Ang magkakapatid, nagtutulungan, hindi nagsisiraan. Ang magkakapatid, nagdadamayan, hindi ipinapahamak ang isa't isa. Ang magkakapatid nagmamahalan, hindi nagpapatayan. My dear brothers and sisters, is jealousy growing in your heart, especially against your own siblings or against your own relatives? Do you hate any of your brothers or sisters? Do you hate anyone? And sometimes this, this jealousy, this hatred goes beyond blood and family ties. People who belong to the same group or people who belong to the same community, people who belong to the same parish, to the same church, sometimes we are the ones who fight and destroy each other. Iisang grupo naman, miyembro naman ng iisang organization, pare-pareho namang miyembro ng sa parehong parokya, o kaya pare-pareho namang mga kristyano, pero tayo-tayo pa ang nag-aaway, nagsisiraan at nagpapahamak sa isa't isa. Should that be our attitude toward each other as brothers and sisters in Christ? My dear brothers and sisters, it is so sad that the first crime recorded in the Bible is a crime of man against his very own brother. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not allow the story of Cain and Abel to ever happen again. Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as sinners, we may come to a deeper realization of the love and mercy which God has for all who turn to him with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may have a deep and true faith in God, which is not limited to external signs and appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may realize God's constant love for them, despite their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers as well as the intentions offered in this Mass. O Lord, guide us all the days of this troubled life. Grant us safety and blessed peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed the body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Five hundred years of pain, grateful to 